Okay, just a little bit more uh, about matrices and vectors and kind of this, this environment that we're, we're working with in MATLAB. Uh, so we know how to enter matrices and vectors. We could either enter them by hand, uh, we could define an identity matrix or a matrix of all zeros or ones or random numbers if we want. We could make them different sizes. We could make them square or not square. We can look at the size of a matrix using the size command. This tells me that this A matrix it has three rows and four columns. Um, and I can access different elements of that matrix by, uh, for example, saying I want to create a new matrix called B. And I want that to be all of the, the rows of A and the first three columns of A. So this is one way of doing that. And, and so you can create new, uh, new variables. So you can create variables anytime you like. If I want to create a new variable C that's exactly equal to B, I can do that. If I want to create a new variable D, which is all of the elements of C squared, I can do that. I can take every element of this matrix and square them. So that's, I have to use this dot square. So that tells me that it's doing it element-wise. We'll, we'll learn more about this later. But the idea is that if I wanted to take every element of this matrix and square that element, and then use those numbers to fill in a new matrix D, I can also do that. So I can define data easily. I can uh, do operations like squaring and plotting and adding. I can say C plus D equals E. I can add two matrices just like you, you would think you can. I can multiply matrices and vectors. So I can take C times D. And as long as the, the rows of C and the columns of D are the same size, I can multiply them and get a new answer. Um, if you ever are worried about uh, a built-in MATLAB function or confused or you're not sure how something works, so like let's say I, I do size of D but I don't know what this is actually giving me. I don't know what the size function does. I can always type help size. And MATLAB has a really good extensive documentation. So it's going to tell you everything you need to know about this size function. So it tells me um, size is the size of an array. It tells me how to call it. D equals size for an M by M matrix. Sorry, I shouldn't be clicking my screen. Um, and you know, it, it essentially tells you all of the information that you need uh, to use this, this function. If you need more uh, information than the help file, so that was help size. If you need more information than help, then you can type doc size. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up MATLAB's built-in documentation, which is really, really extensive. Uh, so it's going to have all of this uh, information here about the size command, how to use it. So it's going to give you examples. Like if I give it this, um, this array here, then it's going to tell me how, uh, what MATLAB would, would return if I typed in size. And if I go to the bottom, you know, it's got all of these great examples. And then it's also going to tell me what other functions are related. So there's also apparently a function called length. It tells me how long a vector is. NumL tells me how many elements in something. So there's all of these. It also tells you what are related functions that you might not have ever heard of. So it's great to become familiar with all of the built-in functions in MATLAB. Um, it has something to do almost everything you'd want. The trick is really finding the functionality. Um, you can also Google. So pretty much every time I, I have, you know, I spend more than an hour on MATLAB, I invariably have to Google something. I'm like, oh, well, how do I get the size of this and then use it this way? And so I type into Google, you know, MATLAB size dimension. And there will be a ton of helpful stuff that tells you how uh, those keywords are related. So on Google, there's a vibrant community of people using this. You can find almost anything you want, and those are kind of the three levels uh, of help. So I can type help size, I can type doc size if I want more documentation, or I can Google MATLAB size, you know, and, and get all of the information and example codes and, and lots of documentation. So really, really useful stuff. Um, okay, only a couple more things uh, to tell you now. So this is a lot of information fast. What I want to encourage you to do is actually start using MATLAB. Try things out. Make an array. Make a matrix. Make a vector. Multiply them. Add them. See what the answer is. See if it matches what you would do by hand. 
the only way to get good at MATLAB and to learn the notation and to learn the, the nomenclature is to immerse yourself and actually start using it uh, and analyzing and plotting and doing stuff. So try things out, and when they break, you know, look at the help file, look at the documentation, go to Google, look for examples. Um, this is kind of the, the bare bones to get you started working with, with some data, looking at ve vectors and matrices, um, but you have to try this yourself. So just one other thing I want to show you. Let's say I have x is a vector from 1 to, 1 to 7. Okay, x is now easy to make 1 colon 7. What if I want to create a y vector that just has all of the odd elements? I should be able to do that. So I should be able to say y equals the elements of x that are odd. And so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create, so I can, this is a vector. And I can access any element of that vector by specifying which row and which column I want, or in the case of a vector, just which column. And so if I want the first, third, fifth, and seventh elements of this vector, I should be able to say, well, I want every other, every second element from one to end. Okay, so I want to go from one to the end of this vector. End is kind of a built-in MATLAB uh, specifier of how long this vector is. I want to access all of the elements from the first one to the last one, but I want to skip every other one. I only want to do every second index. So if I hit enter, I've just pulled out all of the odd numbers, the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh. And remember, if I just type 1, colon, 2, colon, 7, it's going to do something very similar. It's going to create a vector from 1 to 7, but in steps of 2. So instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's going to go 1, 3, 5, 7. It's going to skip the even numbers. So this is a nice way in MATLAB of accessing you know, every other number. If I want every third number, I could say y equals x of 1, colon, 3, colon, end, every third number until the end. 1, 4, 7. And notice that I could have said y equals x of 1, colon, 3, colon, 7. Totally fine. But what if, what if someone emails me a data set and I don't necessarily know how long it is or I don't, you know, maybe this, this data set, the length can change. Maybe, maybe every, uh, every couple of minutes there's a new value that gets tacked on to the end of this thing then I don't, want to specify, I don't want to assume that I know how long this thing is. So that's why I use this end command. Because this will work, this will find the every third element of this vector regardless of how long it is, even if the size changes. So it's kind of useful. Okay, let's remember what x is. Last thing I want to show you, what if I want to add a value to x? What if I want to make this instead of 1 to 7, I want to make this 1 to 8? Well, then what I can do is I can say x equals a new matrix. I'm going to just say it's going to be a new matrix, square brackets. And this matrix is going to consist of x and the number 8 tacked onto the end. So I can kind of dynamically make x bigger and tack on another number to the end using this notation. Pretty cool. If I wanted to make y and I wanted it to have two rows that were each copies of x, I could just say x semicolon x. So I want to fill the first row of y with x, and then I want the next row of y to also be x. So now y is 2 by 8. You can do lots and lots of cool things. If I type size of y, remember it's a 2 by 8 matrix now. Okay, so I encourage you to play around with this, start building vectors, start building matrices, uh, plot some things, you know, work around multiplying these, try the help and documentation and Google, and just make sure that you can, you know, find out what size does. You can type help size. You can type help, uh, maybe I wasn't clear about the rand function. So you can type help rand, and you'll learn really quickly uh, exactly what rand does on all of these built-in examples. So lots of resources, easy to define uh, data and start playing around with stuff. So I encourage you to, you know, to really start, start moving. All right, thank you.